The Transport Stream Analyzer tools provide the user with a comprehensive analysis of the transport stream extracted after the modulation of the digital signal being tuned. This transport stream signal can be received through any of the equipment inputs the transport stream ASI, RF, IP, fiber optic inputs, or even previously recorded transport stream, regardless of whether the signal has passed through the CAM module after being received through any of those inputs. In case of the fiber optic input, you will need the fiber optic option for the Atlas in order to get the fiber optic 2RF conversion feature. This feature allows you to analyze the transport stream of a carrier received from the fiber optic input. For carriers received from the RF input, we first go to the TV analyzer mode. Here we can see that the following four tools are available. Transport stream tables. The meter will initiate a process for identifying and capturing the transport stream signal and all its metadata. We are shown in detail all the PSI, program specific information, and SI, service information, tables, and all their related fields. You can unfold any of them so you can see each of the included subfields branching out. If we choose the transport stream bitrate tool, this will show us the nominal bitrate for each service within the transport stream in real time. Others indicates the amount of bitrate used up by the PSISI tables. By its side, a pie chart indicates in a graphical way the percentage contribution in bitrate of each service with respect to the total transfer stream bitrate, including null packets, which are displayed in black. The percentage and bitrate value of null packets give us a crucial information about the multiplex available payload, which can be used to allocate additional services. Below the pie chart, we can see the total transport stream bitrate and the total bitrate taking into account those PIDs that are duplicated in different services. Below that section, we can check the video, audio and data composition in bitrate for the service selected, both in percentage and absolute value, as well as another pie chart displaying this information graphically. All this information is refreshed in real time. The Transport Stream PID tool lists all the PIDs defined in the Transport Stream being analyzed and provides for each one of them a description of their content and their minimum, average and maximum bit rates. If we press on the cog at the dock top right corner, we will find additional setup options for this tool, such as ordering the contents by PID, bit rate or description and resetting the list in order to capture it again. The Transport Stream Alarms feature shows us the list of alarms as defined in the TR101290 measurement guidelines by the DBB group and classified in the three priority levels set in that norm. These alarms will monitor different points at the Transport Stream layer. You can press on any of these alarms and enter their individual setup menu, where we can see a log showing the list of events occurred so far, a description for the alarm, and the settings menu at the bottom where we can enable or disable the alarm. The meaning of the icons by the side of the alarms is the following. A white cross in a red circle means that the event for that alarm just happened. The exclamation sign in a yellow circle means that there has been an event for this alarm in the last 5 seconds. A question mark inside a blue circle means that the alarm could not be evaluated because the corresponding field could not be evaluated for enough time yet or the information needed to evaluate this alarm is not shown in the transport stream. A white tick inside a green circle means no errors occurred for that alarm. Finally, in the bottom section, a graph is shown for every alarm where we can check all the events that have happened. Errors will be shown as a red strip lasting as long as the occurring errors. If we press on the cog at the dock top right corner, we will find an option to restart, reset the alarm analysis.
Reset will initiate the alarm analysis from scratch, while Restart will initiate the capture of the PSI-SI table information again, followed by the alarm analysis process.